Uncollected loot. Yeah, when you leave a location, you can review uncollected loot from defeated enemies. I like this a lot, too. This is very tabletop-y, because in tabletop, basically the dam will say, okay, like, you're leaving this area. Like, we're, I'm not going to make you go search through every little thing that's not, like, aside from, like, secret hidden stuff. So, uh, this, this, you know, we'll just, let, I'll just say you found these things. So that's, that's this game's version of you found these things. And hey, here's a light shield. We, we didn't bring that. I will bring that now. That, you already are using a heavy mace, right? The angels need. Um, I think so. I can't really look at that right now. What is this? Ooh, that's worth a lot. It's worth a hundred. Let's keep it. Same with the composite longbow. It's worth a, it's worth a hundred gold. We'll keep it just for the, just for the ability to sell it. Oh, look at this. We missed that? Or I missed it. Okay. Great. Now we'll leave. All right. So what's going to happen next? Ooh. So again, none of this is in none of this is in tabletop. This is a frost giant. All right, hold on. We're pausing it. There's Jamandi. Here's I don't know who this is. As Vanki Keeg. Um, we have some Rift Channel is here. So I think I really don't know what's going on here. Uh, I don't know if these guys are are having this Rift. I guess there's a Rift here that they're channeling monsters through. And we have a ton of assassins here, including an assassin leader. So, uh, let's make sure our formation looks good. Yeah, it does not. Let's put you in the back. We want our tower shield specialist in the front, because she's going to be taking the brunt of the... We want people focused on her, because she has really high armor class. But we want these two not far behind. Then these guys, and Halda in the back. Oh, that'll work just fine. So... What can we do here? Our time has come. We want to probably take care of the assassin leader first, because they're probably going to do the most damage. But if we can get rid of these rift channelers, or maybe distract them... Halda has three sleep spells. Um, sleep could affect a lot of people at once. So we might want to do that. What about Lindsay? You have your piercing scream. Oh, but it's only one creature. You would think that would affect multiple creatures. Uh, oh, but it dazes a creature. So it's like a combination of an attack and a daze. That is cool. Okay. Why don't we have you try that on the assassin leader? And Halda, I'm going to get you closer first. So that you can be in range to cast leap. Because right now you can only cast it up to here. And by the time you get over here, people have moved around. So right now, just move. <sighs> Harem, we're going to have you charge up forward a bit. Just like I'm Valerie. Moving. Valerie, actually, Valerie, can you charge? I can't have you charge yet. I don't think we're technically in... Oh, we haven't rolled initiative yet. Okay, let me unpause it briefly. All right. Did we roll initiative yet? I'm not sure. People are fighting, though. I am yours to command. Why can't I have you charge? Let us strike as one. Well, I don't know. Sorry. Oh, you can charge. Oh, maybe you can't charge if you have heavy encumbrance. Although you don't have heavy, you have medium. Maybe you can't have medium. I was going to give the shield to Lindsay. That gives you medium. That's not good. Probably not worth it. Okay. All right. Share your will. Jithal, for this encounter, let's give you a judgment. Now, whichever one we pick should last, I believe this is how it works, should last through the entire encounter, but I think we can only pick one. And you have a bunch of options here. Smiting. We don't care about damage reduction right now. We don't care... Yeah, that's more magic resiliency... Energy resistance. Saving throws. Don't care. I don't think we care about right now. This helps your armor class, which we might care about. Concentration. 
checks, which I don't think we're going to have you be casting a lot of spells here. Judgment. So all attack rolls, we might want that. This gives you healing. And this gives you addition on your damage rolls. I think because these are all pretty low, these assassins are probably pretty low hit points. I think we're going to go for justice, a bonus on all attack rolls. Which, I'm not sure why that didn't proc for you. It's like they're not in battle yet or something. Come up here. Everyone get close. Tartuccio, you have five magic missiles. Well, you have five spells. Magic missile and burning hands. This is all creatures within a cone. Let's get you... Let's see if we can't cast that on a bunch of people. All right. Stand with me. There's the initiative. Wow. Jumanji has a plus 11 to her initiative. That's very impressive. Um, yeah, a lot of these assassins have good initiative. Tartuccio did very well. Okay. All right. Valerie still can't charge. That's okay. Do not falter. Oh, and Harem, I could have you bless, or Bane, one minute per level. So it would be six, no, I'm sorry, ten rounds. Yeah, let's cast it right now, because I think we want that on all of our allies. Halder, you're still coming up? Okay, once, once these guys stop and form a line, then I'll cast Sleep. Yeah, just come up here. Uh, um, actually, stay there. Lindsay. Right. You need to cast that spell on that one. Oh, Jythal. Okay, now you can cast Judgment. Let's do that. And you come up here. Unworthy. And Tartuccio. Yeah, I have you moving. I might have you... I want you to come, come up this way. Okay. Frost Giant is attacking Jamandi. I kind of wish we could, like, watch this battle down here. Gosh. Let's wait. I want to take a look at this. I never really looked at these rolls. Jamandi has a plus 16 to her attack bonus. Her base attack bonus is plus 9. That should tell us what level she is if we looked it up. Her armor class is 21. Not actually that Oh, but she. that's because she's flat-footed for some reason. Okay. And wow, you dealt a lot of damage. You, your weapon adds fire damage. Oh, and the Frost Giant, of course, is vulnerable to fire. And this person, if you're talking with a composite longbow, you are not as good as Jamandi, for sure. Still, pretty awesome. Uh, okay. I get so distracted. All right, Valerie, oh. attack that assassin. Uh, Valerie, I'm going to have you fighting defensively all the time. It'll give you even more armor class. You won't be hitting as much. But your main goal is to try to absorb attacks, like a tank would. Uh, I think I kind of, last time I, <laughs> I was talking a little bit ago about how there's no real tanks in Pathfinder, and I think I forgot to talk about why. Um, while that is really good for a lot of armor class, there's so many things that, that like, regular armor class doesn't affect. Like, spells um, being, like, there are a lot of, yeah... Tanks are not really a thing. Having high armor class is very useful for particular situations. Certainly not all situations. Um, Valerie can be taken out very quickly and easily under the right circumstances. Uh, oh, and we should also inspire courage. Um, yeah, actually, Halda, why don't you inspire courage? And let's put that on your hotbar. Inspire courage right now. That's going to be what you do rather than sleep immediately. You inspire courage, and you inspire courage does not stack. Like if I have Lindsay inspiring courage too, it it won't stack with Halted's inspire courage. Okay. Um, Tartuccio, come this way, I guess. This is getting a little weird. Tartuccio, where are you going? I want Tartuccio. Um, you know what? Can you, from where you are, cast Burning Hands? Yeah. Let's do that. That should affect all the people we want. As long as no one else moves. Lindsay, you... Yeah, from there, you can cast Ear Piercing Stream. And you did. You successfully cast it, and the Assassin Leader failed the saving throw, so the Assassin Leader is dazed. Excellent. Harem is still casting Bless. 
And hold it. Hold it. There you go. Do that. And while you're doing that, and that should... That is supposed to take a standard action to cast, but maybe it doesn't in the CRPG. Uh, to cast the first time, and then every consecutive round it's just a bonus action. Can you cast sleep while you're doing that? And if you do, can you cast sleep over here? You should be able to cast sleep from over here, uh, from where you're standing, to this group of people. That would be great if you could put some of those archers to sleep. Tartucci is casting Burning Hands. Valerie's attacking. Where's Jythal? Oh, right there. Yeah. You should be fine. Wretched things. Hopefully you're... Where is your bonus for the... Was it only one round you got that bonus? I thought it was supposed to be for the entire encounter. I guess not. Um, where are you moving to here? I guess there's no room up here. All right, I guess... No, 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 not Tartuccio, Jythal. Tartuccio... Burning hands. I think I accidentally hit Jythal. Did I? I did. Oh, well. And that didn't do as much damage as I would have hoped. But that was still good. All right, now come over here. Actually, Tartuccio, stand back a bit. That burning hands wasn't super useful. Now cast Magic Missile. And Magic Missile... Why don't you Magic Missile, in theory... So this has a range on it. Uh, in Tabletop, Magic Missile has no range. It, it, there's kind of a joke about Magic Missile because the instructions for Magic Missile just says it always hits the target. You don't need to roll. So in theory, if you cast it on someone on the other side of the world, uh, it would still hit. Um, but in this game, probably for good reason, they actually do give it a range. Let's attack it on this Rift Channeler. See if we can't knock it out. Uh, I could cast on these. You know what? Let's do the Assassin Leader. There you go. Okay. Um, we're still casting Sleep here. Oh, um, Jythal now attacked that one. Oh, and Harem. Wait, someone... Oh, Lindsay doesn't have anything to do. The question mark means they don't have uh, they don't have something queued up. So I changed it. There are a bunch of settings to see, like, usually it doesn't show how many hit points, what their status is. I changed everything to always show. It doesn't look like too much information to me. I feel like this should be the default. Um, and if you hit tab, you can also see their... Oh, if you hover over them, it shows their names. Okay, so um, Lindsay... You could hear Piercing Scream again, but I think at this point just, you. you have pretty good decks, right? Yeah, plus three. You're going to be just fine attacking with a light crossbow. That's going to be effective. And then Halda. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it didn't cast Inspire Courage because we cast Sleep instead. And it seems to have worked pretty well. Um... It says you're not doing anything. What just happened? Oh, Lindsay got hit. That's okay. Lindsay didn't get hit for much. Unworthy. All right, is everyone doing every doing stuff? I think so. Okay, everyone is inspired now. Everyone is inspired courage. You can see with the little icon. Oh, and I don't want some of this stuff on by default. Um, Harem has this ability, destructive smite. And it looks like he auto-turned it on. I forgot to turn off the AI for you. And I forgot to turn off for, for Valerie. But we'll do that now. And now everyone's AI should be off. But uh, actually, in this case, I do want Destructive Smite on. So that's fine. We also have Touch of Chaos. But I don't think we really need to use that yet. You also have Healing Burst, which is really useful. And everyone is also Blessed, which gives everyone a plus one to their uh, attack. Oh, and Weapon Damage. Very nice. That combined with Inspire Courage. Oh, I was looking at Inspire Courage. So we have plus two to our attack rolls and plus one to our damage rolls. That's pretty good. All right, Harem, Repent. kill. Everyone kill. Halda, now that you're, you you can cast Inspire Courage as a bonus action, um, what are you going to do? You could cure some folks. Oh, we have light in a couple of places here. We don't need that. Can I just drag you off there? Flare. I could just daze. 
Why don't I daze the assassin leader here? That'll be fine. Um, Tartuccio wasn't doing anything. Let's change that. Magic missile. Keep magic missling that assassin leader. It should auto pause at the end of every turn. So, whoops, like it just did. People keep making initiative checks? Oh, their little battle here. Now there's a large earth elemental in here. That's interesting. All right. Halda, keep dazing. Yeah, just keep dazing over and over again because you can only daze once per turn. Tartuccio. Keep magic missling, I guess. Uh, Your life ebbs these low. melee folks. Keep attacking here. Me. All right, you save the will save. All right, now all of our melee folks, we'll just select them all here. Why don't you all... Actually, I could have people charge now, right? Um, For some reason, I still... I guess you have to have light encumbrance to do that. Yeah, you have light encumbrance. You have light encumbrance. Uh, I guess medium encumbrance doesn't cut it for charging. That's my guess. So... Uh, Harem, you have pretty good... I guess Harem and, and uh, Jythal both... Why don't you both charge? Get over there. And who is this? It's Amiri to the rescue. Jythal, I'm going to have you actually charge down here to this Rift Channeler. Take care of that one. And Valerie, approach the Assassin Let Leader. Strike is one. Okay. And Tartuccio... Um... Just attack that Rift Chandler with your crossbow. Uh, okay. Let's daze again. Oh, someone's not doing anything. Lindsay. Oh, your target's dead. Why don't you range attack that Rift Chandler back there? Halda. Why don't you daze that Rift Chandler? Okay. Oh. Yep, people are dead. Attack. Uh, why don't you charge that one? Oh, yeah. Nice, Jythal. What a waste. All right. It keeps uh, auto-pausing at the end of every round. Is that? No, it's not everyone yet. Onwards. Um... Why don't you charge over here? And these three just ranged attack Time that one in the back. Again. <laughs> nice. Done. All right, the rift is down. Are they still fighting anything over here? I don't think there's anything I can... Oh, yeah. Oh, a hydra just appeared. I think we took care of these guys really efficiently. We might as well loot. Oh, what is this? Oh, is this a Bless Aura? Is that what this is? I think... Oh, no, that's the Inspire Courage Aura. That's uh, that's good to know. Okay. Goods there. Yeah, let's pick up all these potions. Let's pick up stuff over here now. Uh, everyone. A lot of potions. Ooh. Bracers. A lot of potions. Alchemist Fire and Acid Flask. Those are things you can throw. I think these are just short bows. Just regular armor. Studded leather. Not worth picking up. Too, too heavy. Um, I don't see any other loot. But we'll check that out. And let's just watch this uh, battle. Actually, can we help kill this Hydra? No, we can't because it's... um, It has a like a yellow-green circle, so we can't... We can't attack it. I'm, I can't do anything. Wow! Jumanji critical hit it for 40 damage? Holy moly. You just hit two 20s in a row. You rolled two 20s. You have Piranha Strike, Dueling Sword. Dag. Look at this thing. It's kind of cool that it shows us these advanced monsters early in the game. I guess that's a pretty common thing to do. A large map of Brevoy and its surroundings are here. I wonder if there's anything else in here that we could, like, find. Let us Any secrets. On. Let's go down here for a sec. There's a Miri. I should talk to her. 
Uh, here's a frost giant, too. A great axe. It, it's two-handed. We don't really have any two-handed fighters. And it's really not worth that much for how much it weighs. I don't think I'm going to pick it up. Same with the chainmail. It's too bad it's not anything magic. All right, let's go down here. I just want to do a sanity check here. There's so many secret things that you can find in this game. Godspeed. Oh, so I was talking before. I, I keep, like, starting conversations and then getting interrupted with the actual game. But my druid with the Mastodon, Forward. the Mastodon is so fun. Um, the Mastodon just runs around. It's super fast. It can eventually it'll be able to trample. It's really powerful. And you just have a tiny little, like, woolly mammoth around with you. It's so cute. And I love that we that's implemented in this game. So there are a lot of cool, exotic things that this game does have Im implemented. Um, I have another Pathfinder game, tabletop game with some friends where I'm a half-orc monk. And a part of me also wants to create that character. Not in this campaign. We're not going to do that. But, man, uh, just because I can. Like, it is super cool that you... Even if they did, like, have to computerize some things, having all of these Pathfinder classes and implementations of some exotic Pathfinder things is awesome. Another pet that you can get is a giant centipede, and I am excited about that. Ah, uh, Halda. So cute. Yeah, too bad Halda look, kind of looks exactly like Lindsay, just like an older version. I guess that's fine. Not a big deal.